So our first DLC offering is called First Strike. It releases February 1st. It has five new levels in it, four brand new multiplayer maps, as well as a zombie level called Ascension. Kowloon is inspired by the single player campaign level that was also set in Kowloon City, China, but the actual design and the layout and the geometry in the map is killed from the ground up for MP. Kowloon is the only map that has zip lines, which will allow players to quickly get from point A to point B. The trade off to that is that you're completely exposed while you're on the zip line. You can't use your weapon. It's going to get you to your location much faster, but there's also the risk that you're going to get shot. Discovery is an Antarctic research station that was a German outpost left over from World War II. The two sides of the map are divided by a deep chasm. You're always kind of fighting for control over that crossover from one side of the map to the other. My tips for Discovery is really just learning the layout of the map, understanding how that chasm can impact the, the flow of the gameplay, and always being conscious of the exposure that you have to long-range weapons. You might be on a snow bridge and somebody throws a grenade, which collapses the floor around you. Our large map is Berlin Wall. This focuses on the Checkpoint Charlie area of Berlin. It puts you fighting on the two different sides of the wall. So you've got East Berlin versus West Berlin kind of thing going. Berlin Wall has certain attributes about it that if you use it right, you're going to have the competitive edge over your opponents. It has a lot of very long view distances. It's a really great map for snipers. There's some good high points, some good elevation there. And one of the unique aspects about Berlin Wall is that there is the no man's land in the middle. You can take the risk of going through no man's land to get a faster route, but there's a good chance you're going to get mowed down by the auto turrets. The stadium is one of my favorite maps. I am a run and gunner, so I tend to like that map. It's going to provide those close quarter players tight adrenaline action packed experience. So never underestimate the value of tactical insertion and always be checking your corners and realize that these engagement distances are going to be really small. So use that to your advantage. I think it's going to cater to a lot of the players who just like the frenetic style of gameplay that Call of Duty has to offer. One of the big agendas with this map pack is we wanted to listen to the feedback that people have been giving about all the maps they've been playing with the release of the game. They want more verticality, more sniper opportunities. They really love the interactivity that we did. These are components that we wanted to bring back in a pretty big way in the first DLC offering. First Strike is going to be available February 1st for 1,200 Microsoft points, and it'll be available on Xbox 360 first.